Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little get ready with me because I'm going to the Sabrina Carpenter concert tonight, hence hence the get up. But we're just going to get the makeup on. If you're new here, hi my name is Vivian, I'm a robotics engineer with love for all things beauty and makeup related and I'd love it if you liked and subscribed if you aren't already. Let's just hop into it. Okay, so I do have an inspo pick here. Um, I'll pop it on the screen. I found this on Pinterest and this is like a girl who went to the Love on Tour Harry Styles concert and I'm gonna try and do something similar to this with the little hearts that is like going across her eyelids. So that's what we're doing today. I have these little nail mini heart flakes from the brand Le Mini Macaron and I'm gonna try and use this and some eyelash glue to get it stuck on. I am going to clip my hair back. I'm probably going to have to touch up my bangs afterwards because they're probably not going to lay the same way. So we're going to start off with primer because I do want this to stay all day. My skin has been kind of dry lately, so I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a hydrating primer. Smashbox actually gifted me this and a whole bunch of other primers. And I haven't actually used this yet, so this is going to be kind of my test. It might be a little risky since I haven't used this before and I kind of need this to last all day. But I have heard such good things about the primerizer, like the original primerizer, and this is supposed to be like the newer formulation. So I'm hoping that it'll turn out okay and I don't have to be too worried about it. Since I do need this to last quite a while, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and I'm gonna maybe do like one little spray after each layer just because like I, I really want this to say stay, so. So let's go in with base. I'm not gonna do anything fancy for base. I'm just gonna go in with my Misha BB Cream, which is in my shot, my stash right now. I'm gonna do, that's about like one and a half pumps. I don't think I'll actually use all that, but I'm gonna go in with a brush. And I'm just gonna start spreading this, patting it into my skin. And then I'm just gonna go in with my damp sponge just to make sure it's all blended properly. I'm gonna go in with two different concealers. The first one is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Nougat 2.5G and I'm also gonna go in with the Dior Forever Skin Crush Concealer in the shade Too Warm Olive. This one is gonna be for my blemishes and the Huda Beauty one is gonna be for my under eyes just to brighten a little bit because the shade is slightly too light for me and this is also like a really full coverage concealer and I'm gonna use my rare beauty concealer concealer brush to blend this out And since this concealer is much lighter than the rest of my foundation I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush again and just kind of blend out the edges because it can look a little, a little bit jarring. And then I'm gonna take my Dior Forever Skin Correct on some of the darker blemishes on my face. I'm gonna go in with some contour. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand in fair medium. I'm just gonna go around my perimeter, maybe like a tiny bit around the eyes. I'm gonna use this ColourPop F31 brush to blend this out. And then just going over with my sponge again, just to blend everything out and make sure it's seamless. For blush, I'm gonna keep going with the pink theme we got going on and I'm gonna go in with my Westman Atelier blush in the shade Pop It and I know that seems like a lot it honestly might be a little bit too much but we are it's gonna be okay we're gonna we're gonna make it work and then I'm just using this Katie Jane Hughes in Spectrum number four brush to blend it going in 
in with some lip balm because my lips are feeling a little dry. For powder, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And then we're just gonna do one more spritz for right now. I am gonna do my brows. I'm gonna fill them in with my Kosas brow pencil. And I'm really feeling the fluffy brow look today. So I'm gonna go in with my Refi, what is this, the brow sculpt? And I'm going to run this through my brows. And then I'm gonna take a clean spoolie with no product on it and just run it through and kind of press down at the same time. For eyes, eyeshadow at least, I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Bay Utopia palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade here called Bliss. It matches my shirt like perfectly and I'm just gonna do a like light wash of this as I mean as light as I can get all over the lids because I think I want the star to just kind of be those hearts like glued on. So I'm just taking a really big fluffy brush. This is the Haley's Beauty brush. It doesn't have a name. It just says Haley's Beauty on it. And so I'm just going to try and blend this out onto my mobile lid and really just have a light wash of color. Okay, so I just went in with a brow pen just to kind of draw in some hair-like strokes because I feel like they they were looking a little bit uneven. But now I am going to attempt to put these on my eyes. I am a little scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. I'm doing a couple dots of lash glue on there like on my lid and then I'm just gonna draw some lash glue on the back of my hand. Grab my tweezers. I was able to get it for one eye. Let me zoom you in. I think I want to adjust the placement of them a little bit. Like this one's like a little bit lower than the rest, but I think that's so cute. I think that's so cute. I'm so glad that worked out. I ended up not using the glue on the back of my hand for the rest of the hearts, but I'm going to do this eye and then we'll be back for mascara. I am planning on doing falsies today. That's so cute. I'm so obsessed with that. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I am going to do my lashes. I'm going to use my Pamela Essence Mascara Base and my Tower 28 Mascara. And then I will, I'm going to put on false lashes. So I went in with the Pamela Essence Mascara Base, but before I do mascara, I want to put on a little bit more blush and then set my face again. I'm going to go in with what else? Persona Bubble, of course. I'm gonna use this Sonia Kushak blush brush. And then one more spritz. And then mascara. I lied. I'm not going to do fake lashes today because I feel like my mascara actually turned out pretty good. But since most mascaras smudge on me, I'm going to grab my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara and I'm going to go over it just really lightly. Like I'm not trying to build volume or anything. I just want to kind of make sure that it doesn't smudge. And I'm also going to use this on my bottom lashes. I honestly cannot believe that turned out so well. Um, I forgot to put on highlighter. So I am going to go in with my M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in the shade Majesty. This ColourPop F33 brush. It's just this really fluffy, like, 
highlighter blush, highlighter brush type thing and put this on my high points. And then I am gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Lip Oil. This is in the shade Hope. I am going to let that dry down a little bit and then afterwards I'm gonna go in with like another lip balm because my lips are so dry. I'm going to take out my little bang pieces. Definitely need to touch them up, but this is pretty much the final look. I am kind of obsessed with how this turned out. I think that is so cute. I love the little hearts. It's very pink. It's very emails I can't send. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am quite literally obsessed with the way that this turned out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day today and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!